Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm walking through one of the streets in the central part of St. Petersburg. There were two outstanding poets who lived on this particular street in the beginning of 20th century. Both are very significant for Russian culture, but they lived such a different lives. One of them was Vladimir Mayakovsky, poet of the revolution number one. He combined unique style of poetry, ornate and trenchant, with ideas of Bolshevik revolution. He performed at the largest stadiums. He was loved and glorified. Numbers of monuments that dedicated to him were built all across the country, and we're approaching to one of them. But today his poetry have lost its relevance because ideas of Red Revolution are far from being in trend. As you can see, the monument have been forgotten as well. It is rarely cleaned, and the square, which is also named after Vladimir Mayakovsky, became an unofficial meeting point of local homeless and alcoholics. The other poet is Daniel Harms. His poetry in general could be described as dark, pessimistic, confused and abstract. Through his work, one can feel confusion and fear which was spread among Russian people in the beginning of 20th century. Through emotions without any blinkers of propaganda. He was poor and unpopular. He got troubles with his publication. But today there is a great rise of interest towards Daniel Harms and his heritage. Just a few years ago, a great amount of his unpublished work was found and finally published. So, these two poets lived on the same street, just several houses from each other. We don't know if they knew each other, we don't know what did they feel about each other. Nevertheless, one day a group of street artists decided to commemorate this dissonance between these two outstanding poets. They made a portrait of Daniel Harms on the house where he used to live. Dark and confused, he is looking at the monument of Vladimir Mayakovsky. Finally, two outstanding poets have met. This is meeting of two completely different views on life and events of the beginning of 20th century. And this is perpetuated among the city walls. Thank you.